Welcome to today's video. My name is Sarah. If you haven't been here before, I make content for Catholic Match here on YouTube. You can check out my other videos. I have uh, three other friends as well that make content. Absolutely fantastic topics that you should definitely, definitely check out. We're also over on Instagram with reels and lives and posts and all different types of really, really, really good resources for you, uh, no matter where you are in your dating life right now. Today, we're gonna talk about a topic that came to me. I was recently at a singles event and we were talking about all things dating, which is what we do here, you know, you and me. And I was totally enveloped in all of these conversations because they're about really important topics. And um, also we're dealing with people's hearts and wanting to be seen, known and loved, right? And so we were talking about something in particular and that was the I, just the notion, maybe the questioning within ourselves of like, what are we looking for when we're sifting through all of those profiles? Sometimes there's a lot, sometimes there's not. Um, but I know many of us have multiple profiles across you know different dating platforms and it takes time to sift through what's available to you. And so we were talking about, you know, Kind of second guessing yourself is if am i looking for the right things <laughs> am i looking for the wrong things is it why i haven't gone on a date is it you know why i've been in a dating giant spell and maybe it is and maybe it's not um every situation is so 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 nuanced but i wanted to go over a few distinctions that we as a group that night came up with and that i've really thought about too because i do think it's very easy to maybe need these distinctions and, and to need this clarification for yourself so that you can extend it to your profile sifting. So we're gonna go over a couple that I have and we will start with number one. I think a lot of people say, especially for Catholic Match, I want a good, faithful Catholic man, which is a completely admirable, admirable desire. And Nothing wrong with that at all, but I do think, and the clarification that we made is that I don't think you necessarily need to go for the most Catholic profile that you could possibly find on Catholic Match. I think you need to go for a profile that is clear, that is intentional, that you don't get any icks from. You need to go to a profile that has good photos <laughs> of a genuine person, um, to go to a, a profile that's well-crafted, not necessarily super Catholic and to know that they can be super Catholic without having like a super, super Catholic profile. That being said, I also think it's important to on Catholic match specifically on, you know, on your profile, you can go through and you can, you can tick off what teachings of the church you agree with or which you don't agree with. And I do think it's important to look for a profile, to look for someone who shares the same foundational understandings as you do, not because you need this boyfriend who's perfectly Catholic or, you know, that is, you know, perfectly canonized and all of these different things, but that you have foundational truths and beliefs within yourself. And by definition, you want someone who's going to spend their life with you to also have those foundational beliefs because foundational beliefs matter. And we want to just put those at heart. I think it's important to look for the same religious foundation, not because if it's different that that's a negative reflection on the man, but simply because it's a foundational thing that you hold to be important. And for that reason, you want to find someone else who also holds that to be important. The third distinction that we came up with was not necessarily looking for your man who, for the man who will be your husband for sure, without a doubt. <laughs> I don't think it's a fair pressure to put on yourself that we put on ourselves, that we need to know who we're going to marry within the first 10 minutes of knowing them, or within the first date or even the third date. I think that that is not a pressure we need to put on ourselves, that you are totally allowed to take your time to get to know a person before you know for sure that you want to marry them. And what we want when we're going through dating profiles is not um, an instantaneous, like, that is my Prince Charming. Not that that couldn't happen, but that you just want someone you want to get to know more. You just want to see someone that 
you feel, I would really like to put myself out yet again to establish a connection with another person, that I am totally willing to get to know this other person simply because I am just willing to get to know him, not because I think he's my next Prince Charming. To just kind of let loose a little bit the reins of that hold that I think social media has really contributed to of, well, if you look at him and he's not the man who you're gonna see at the end of the aisle, then he's not for you. And I just, I sometimes think that that comes a little bit later after getting to know someone after however many dates and that that's perfectly, perfectly okay. And then the last distinction we came up with was when you're looking for someone and where they live and where they're based, that it's of course would be nice if they live close to you, but it would also be okay if maybe they didn't, maybe it'd be a little bit further away. I'm not saying different countries, but I am offering the idea that it might be okay if they don't live in the exact same neighborhood as you to not be scared of, of long distance, even if it's not like a true textbook long distance, even if it's not, you know, more than a couple hours away, but to not be afraid of long distance in that harming your relationship or even be able to establish a connection with someone. I think a lot of us location-wise, geographically, can kind of bind ourselves. And I wanna offer that maybe it's okay if they don't live in your neighborhood or right next to you, that it could be a little bit harder to get to know them maybe, but it could also be completely worth it. So those are my four distinctions that I came up with, with this group of wonderful, wonderful single people that are all in the same boat as you of trying to navigate the crazy, crazy dating world that is today's dating world. If you have any more distinctions, things that maybe you've learned or questions you have or distinctions you want me to talk about more, feel free to drop them below in the comments. If you liked this kind of content, please go give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to us here on YouTube. I also go live once a month over on Catholic Match IG, so you're welcome to hang out with me there too. And I will see you in the next video.